Good day, good day! How the honk are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right, let's just jump into it right here. Uh, this is going to be another video uh, thanks to Drone uh, from Chasing Diecast Cars. Uh, he sent me a box and I am still going through it. So welcome to a one of Wednesday. Yeah, you might see six vehicles here, but they're the one and only. That's right, the one and only, the uh, Carmichael Commando. Yes, the Carmichael Commando. So uh, this is the one and only of this. And the interesting thing is, as these are not uh, U.S. releases. These were in Belgium or over there. Um, yeah, many, many. If you did um, go to, uh, let's see, our friends here. Yeah, our friends here at BAMCA. Uh, the Bay Area Matchbox Club Association. If you go over there and check them out, um, they will have a whole list of these vehicles, and I probably should have done that to tell you kind of the progression of uh, what these um, what these are. We're gonna grab this one here, and oh lordy, lordy, forgive me. I think Dan Russell sent me this one. You know, I I I have a cabinet. And um, I put, uh, in, you know, group the uh, different um, gifts that people uh, send me. <laughs> I want to say Dan Russell sent me this one. I'm, now that I'm talking about it, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was. So thank you, Dan Russell. Hope you're having a great uh, holiday season. But anyway, this is a one of a uh, yellow one. Like I say, these here... Um, were never released in the United States. Yeah, right there, uh, Bulgaria. Excuse me, not Belgium, Bulgaria. So they were made in Bulgaria, but they, they were a European release and uh, never, um, you know, as uh, retailers, they never carried and sold these. Now, these would be in single blister cases they weren't in uh five packs as far as i know or in um uh play sets or gift sets they were always on a, a single blister card and uh, so this is a very nice one yellow one this is like in pristine condition now noted is the tan gray tan interior with the clear window yes and the black ladder on top yeah so very very cool. Um, now these are the ones that I have bought. I think this one was another one. No, I bought this one. Yeah, this was kind of one of the rougher ones that I bought. Um, and they, they painted <laughs> mud on the, but this is one of the last ones that I've got. And I thought, you know, um, uh, buying a rougher one and I could, uh, someday, uh, restore it, you know, for myself. But this one almost is in, uh, you know, good enough condition just to clean up the wheels. But uh, some of the other ones that I got, now these came from uh, from a um, from a car show, a toy, a toy show down in Milwaukee. Um, and uh, a fella had uh, bought an estate and it had a bunch of Land Rover uh, Range Rover, well, Matchbox stuff, and some of them were pretty rare, and so this was some of the ones that I got from him. I think I bought both of these from him, and, you know, $9 is, you know, kind of the running uh, gig on it. I, I paid him a lot of money for all his other stuff. He had also some, uh, I think, Rollomatics, the military one uh, that's really hard, but this has got a dark blue window, um, I think a little bit lighter, yeah, the little bit darker, excuse me, a little bit darker gray for the interior and stuff like that. But these are ones that I had found in the wild and uh, pretty pretty awesome there. So, um, so let's get to the ones that Jerome sent me. Here it is, the police rescue one. This is really kind of nice. Um, the, you know, obviously... Uh, no decals or anything on there, and then just the simple fire 
uh, which, you know, these, you know, are pretty weak white stripe, you know, they're, uh, you know, almost transparent see-through. And now look at this. This is a uh, heavy duty. It's not the envelope label. These are decals and, uh, but they're pretty strong and pretty, uh, pronounced, uh, good quality is guess what I'm trying to say there. And, uh, just a nice white dark blue glass again and then uh the same color uh gray gray interior and um uh the back um apparatuses although it kind of looks like it's a little bit different shade there um you know yeah yeah a little bit different shade but see they got a traffic cone and some uh tools stuff like that and the uh rolling um, door is partially not rolled all the way up but uh, these are wonderful wonderful examples uh, and I really appreciate it. I mean look at the detail that Matchbox did on the underneath that is so accurate and correct uh, really kind of nice you almost want to to um, display one with the bottom <laughs> showing you know it's just awesome but uh, yeah, so this, this one's a little bit more worse for wear, but that's all right. Like I say, uh, somebody enjoyed this one. Uh, very interesting. It's got a, I don't know what that would be. I don't know, a vent or a door of some sort. But on the other side, they have uh, just a picture of a uh, fire extinguisher there. Uh, looks like it's a class three or three class uh, fire extinguisher, but very, very nice. They all had the same wheels. They all had the, you know, there was no variation in wheels. Um, very nice front end uh, with the uh, vertical uh, grill there. But, uh, you know, very hard, uh, like I say, these, well, and these buggers too, you know, in real life are really hard to come by and uh, really kind of sought after because they're uh, fire, fire and rescue apparatuses. This one also had the black ladder. I think they all came with the black ladders. Uh, that was kind of a standard there, but uh, really kind of cool. Uh, yeah. So if you want to take a look over there at um, at uh, let's see, that's uh, b a m c a dot org. I mean, you can you can view that no matter where you are in the world. You can go over there, and it might be in. Uh, oh, that one's got the one of the bubble gums missing there but uh it might you you i don't think it's in the regular lineup so you might have to and and their website is really uh user friendly so you might have to do some poking around and stuff like that to uh find uh this uh you know uh <clears throat> kind of rare or a specialty uh carmichael commando and one seventy fifth scale 1982 is when they started producing this i think they did it for quite like one or two years but they put out a lot of these i want to say that there's like oh uh, almost 30 variations of this and uh you can really spend a chunk of change here in the states anyway for um trying to get the variations of this and uh really kind of cool what they, they got a little uh door here on the uh, roof of that I wonder what that that is I just noticed that in the casting but uh, yeah really kind of cool I like it I like it a lot so all right there you go if you want to check out uh, go over to uh, Matchbox I think it's in uh, another one on Wednesday I talk some more about these and I think I go more in de details on uh, uh, availability where they were available and stuff like that this is just a quick little one of Wednesday for you uh, and uh, great thanks to Jerome there at uh, chasing diecast cars and uh, check out some of his newest latest videos he's always putting out videos so yeah just he gets some stuff in and uh, wow it I just boggles my mind so anyway there you go um, one on Wednesday. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm your friend Dano. I hope that everybody is uh, doing well and staying out of trouble, right? All right, that's it for me today. I want you guys to uh, have a happy hump day. 
This is your friend Dano saying, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.